me, man. You, there must be at least 500 dollars. Yo, Jay, that's yo, that's six hundred dollars. Yo, 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 you give it back to him? Well, yeah, Raheem is one of the founders. What he does with it is his decision. Well, I'm out here. No, no, no. I'm sure you would like to discuss with us, maybe, what you're going to do with it. What's to discuss? Except that fate has found Raheem at last. Well, Raheem, the money obviously belongs to someone. Yeah, those look like initials on that clip. Y-E-Z. No, no, see, see, those aren't initials. It's a message from the heavens. See, I looked up and suddenly prayed, is this money really for me? And the answer came thundering down, yes, Raheem, yes. <laughs> really gonna keep the money. Nah, see, I'm not gonna keep it. I'm gonna give it to my father. It'll make up for some of the money he lost when he got laid off. Yo, but what about them, baby? I see that we have a difference of opinions here, just a few. But we have one fact, right? $600. Now, maybe Raheem wouldn't mind a little input from his friends about what to do with this money here. Okay. I had just a few opinions. Well, I think he should keep it. Thanks for the input. No, no, no. <laughs> Stanley, you say he should keep it. Damn it. Right, let's get this down, all right? Uh, Louise, help me with the blackboard, all right? Oh, no, come on, man. That's the blackboard. Yeah, the blackboard. That's how you know the head of our circle today. Okay. Now, Stanley, you say he should keep it. Why do you think right he should keep the money? Well, I say it's part of the lost money pool. What? what? That's right, the lost money pool. See, when we lose money, we're making deposits into the pool. And when we find money, we're making a withdrawal. See, Raheem here was swimming in the deep end of the pool when the money floated right into his little hands. Right, my partner? <laughs> See, so you think we should find the owner, right? Yeah. Okay. I agree. That money could belong to some poor old lady with 13 cats. Okay, cat woman. Or it could belong to a drug dealer. Ah, right, drug dealer. Wait a minute. We don't want the drug dealer to have it now, do we? What? You're saying that we don't return the money to the owner if the owner's a drug dealer? Oh, oh, the the it could be the poor family's rent money. Wait, so you guys are saying that if it's a rich person, we keep the money, but if it's a poor person, give it back? Yo, yeah. Yeah. Look, you guys, look, it doesn't matter whose it is. You know it's not yours, Raheem. I found it. What you talking about? Yo, 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 look, look, look. Leticia's right, man. We should look for the owner no matter who it is. Really, Eugene? Well, that's very refreshing. Well, it is the honorable thing to do, isn't it? <laughs> why is it that it's the honorable thing to do? Wait, 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 wait. Why is it that I'm the only one telling the truth around here? You know that if Theo wasn't here, you'd all say keep the money. I left something here. Oh, uh, well, can I help you? I'm Theo Huxtable. Yes. My name is Yasmin Zander. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's your middle name? Edward. 